Our stop, top story tonight, a Michigan man is up for execution after the Department of Justice announced it is reinstating the death penalty. Marvin Gabrion was convicted of the 1997 murder of 19-year-old Rachel Timmerman. He was also suspected to have killed her 11-month-old baby and several others connected to the case. 24-Hour News 8's Whitney Burney spoke with family of some of the victims. She's joining us now in studio with this story. Whitney. Marley, Gabrion never confessed or gave police any information about the four other missing people in this case, including 11-month-old baby Shannon Verhaeg, who was never found. The Verhaeg family says it's something that's been haunting them for 20 years. She was only 11 months old. She loved going for rides in my car and listening to music. It was the one thing that would put her to sleep instantly. I mean, she was fat and chubby, rolls everywhere. I mean, I really... I mean, I'm really just getting to know her. Rick Verhaeg says he's been thinking about his baby girl, Shannon, for more than 20 years. I mean, I try not to think about it that much, but it's hard not to, you know. In 1997, the 11-month-old and her mother, Rachel Timmerman, went missing. Police say Timmerman was kidnapped by Marvin Gabrion, who was awaiting trial for sexually assaulting her the previous fall. They say he tied Timmerman up while she was still alive, weighed her down with cinder blocks, and dumped her in a lake near Big Rapids. Baby Shannon was believed to be with her. She was never found. I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. Anybody, nobody should ever have to go through it. Gabriel was sentenced to death row in 2002 and could soon face execution. This after the Trump administration announced they've reinstated the death penalty. Rachel was so happy that she was a mom. And it was like, she told me it was the greatest thing to ever happen to her. And she's not here anymore. And he is. He's still sitting. Verhaeg says this could finally mean closure for his family. I don't really f go along with the death penalty that much, but I feel... You know, you should pay for what you've done, especially something as heinous and horrible as that he did. But may also mean he'll never know what happened to his baby girl. Yeah, I feel better that he's not there, but then it's like when he goes, he's taking, essentially taking her with him. Do you feel like you've forgiven him? Or that you could? I don't know if I ever could. The Department of Justice set execution dates for five death row inmates so far. Gabriel was not one of them. They say that they'll be scheduling more of those executions soon. Live here in the studio, Whitney Burning, 24-Hour News 8.